This is a short movie on how to put crop marks in a PDF document that didn't exactly uh, that didn't originally have crop marks. So first of all, I have to uh, go into Illustrator, and then from Illustrator, I'm going to open this file that I've made called Trees. Um, it's on my desktop, so. Just click on that, double click on that, and um, it will open it up. Uh, it's a fairly massive file because the image I used is over 100 megabytes, so you won't normally get this. But there it comes. Okay, the first thing I've got to do is because this is exactly an A4 size, no allowance has been made for bleed. So using my selection tool, which is the same as the selection tool in InDesign, I just click on the various elements and uh, drag them out uh, to make them slightly larger than the actual document itself. Uh, I'll do the same to the image, down below and out a bit, and drag it up a bit as well. Now in Illustrator we've got uh, this terrific little tool here called the Artboard Tool Shift. All you have to do is click on that and it automatically uh, finds the edge of the actual page, not the image but the actual page size, and puts crop marks on. So there's nothing more to do except uh, the way in which you save it. So you go to the File menu and you go to Save As. We'll give it a different name, we'll call it Trees 2 and make sure that you're saving it as an Adobe PDF. Dialog box comes up exactly the same as the dialog box you saw in uh, InDesign. Um, instead of the default, I'm, for the sake of speed, I'm just going to turn it into the smallest file size. But of course, you probably change it to press quality. Um, I'm going to uh, check on view PDF after saving so that we can see what it looks like. Uh, and then we go to Marks and Bleeds, and this is the important part. First of all, check on all printer's marks. So you want to see the trim marks and registrations and all the rest of it. If there's anything you don't want, you can uncheck that. And this is um, absolutely vital. Um, leave Use Document Bleed Settings unchecked, but change the amount to 3 millimeters. You'll see there's a link over here. So if I change one and then press the tab key, they'll all change. And then I'll just click on Save PDF. Uh, that just tells me that I've uh, unchecked something that I should have checked. But that's all right. And in a few secs, up it'll come. And there you can see we've got the uh, crop marks, uh, the bleed, the whole thing. So I hope that helps. Cheers.